Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making a video on how to tie a snare knot and how to make a little homemade snare. So first, if you don't have little eye hooks or something, then you can just make your own. Uh, that's what I did. And then, uh, you want to take your fishing line. I have, uh, I have fire line, I think it's like 25 pound test, something like that. And, uh, you, braid or fire line, it works the best, because monofilament and fluorocarbon, they both have memory and stretch, so as soon as it start, as soon as they get bent, they're gonna have, like, a kink in it or something, and so that's why braid's really good, or fire line, braid and fire line are pretty much the same thing. Okay, so you're gonna want to take out maybe, like, a foot of line. And this might be like a foot and a half, but whatever. Okay, you want to cut it. Put that down. And so now you have your line. Alright, so now you're going to want to make a little loop, grab the end of this. Pull a loop like that, and then lick it. So it kind of sticks together like that. So now you're gonna gonna wrap it, uh, kind of like that. So there's a little loop. Then you're gonna take this little piece right here. And you're gonna stick it through the hole and pull. All right. Now you have this loop. Now you're gonna go opposite side of the string, and you're just gonna stick it in between and now you have a snare knot right at the end right there you would obviously make it farther up so you don't have this little knot to get past because it's kind of like a kink so you gotta push kind of hard past it all right then you're gonna want to take your little eye hook and make sure that it's pinched all the way down so the line can't slip out. And then you're just going to do any knot of your choice as long as you know it's going to hold pretty good. Um, I'm just going to do a regular fishing knot and it should be good. Uh, if you want me uh, to make a video on how I do my fishing knots then you can leave a comment. But... I just did a little baby one. So now I'm just going to do a couple more little knots. And then I may or may not make a part two of how to set it up, but I probably won't. Uh, and this strap is good for, uh, like, you know, squirrels and rabbits. Um, as long as you have strong enough line, you don't want, like, 50-pound braid because that's pretty much rope. Uh, like this, what is, this is 30 pound, uh, 30 pound braid, but I'm not using it because it's yellow. So, I'm just using some fire line and I took it off my reel. But, so, once you're finished with your knot like this, pull it, make sure it's tight. And so now, you have your little snare loop. And see, and now... When something goes in it, and it's not getting out, it's going to keep on fighting. Uh, let's see, see that little knot right there? That's why you want to make it farther up. So, see, now if I, if, when it keeps on struggling like that, it's just going to keep on getting tighter and tighter. So it's not going to get out. But yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, thank you.